What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So, as you guys can probably tell, this looks way different from the last video you guys saw on this channel. I recently moved from Santa Cruz to San Marcos for college, and this is the view of my new apartment. And swinging right back over here, I've got my fish tanks. So you guys saw the Innovative Marine 20 gallon setup in my most recent video. I broke down my 65 gallon tank and I consolidated and got everything into my 20 gallon. Equipment wise, everything is the same on this tank. However, I did have to change up the Aquascape from the move. I had to break down this tank, put it in a car and drive about 12 hours before I got to set it up again. I'll throw up a photo, but you guys know from the previous Aquascape, we had two arches and now we have this big, large island-like rock structure on the right side, and then it's this beachy open lagoon kind of on the left. We've got a little bit of coral on the side from it growing over and kind of wrapping around, but most of the coral is on the front or on top of this big right piece of rock. And then over to the left side, like I said, we've got a beachy lagoon, but this is where I put most of my toadstools and leather corals. Another big thing that I wanted for this tank was for it to be incredibly easy to maintain and keep running. As you guys heard, I'm in college, so I don't have a ton of time to devote towards my fish tanks right now, unfortunately. So I need a setup that is easy to clean, easy to maintain, and I need the livestock to be the same. So what I recently did was I sold off most of my LPS coral and kept only the softies. The only LPS that I actually have in the tank is my green bubble coral, which is kind of closed up, and my Duncan coral, which is definitely closed up because I just did a feeding. Everything else in the tank is either a leather coral or some form of a soft coral. As for livestock, I've got my two clownfish just kicking around. I've got my cleaner shrimp somewhere up in the cave there. And I've got a lawnmower blenny that I bought just about a week ago to help combat some of the string algae that I have in the tank. I can't find him right now. He's probably somewhere under the structure here, but he's been doing really well since I've got him. And just as I turned off the camera, he came out. So there is the new addition, super healthy looking fish. Um, like I said, he's been eating and kind of just hanging out um, and he's been doing really well. I don't have a lot of plans for this tank. Um, I think the only thing I might upgrade equipment wise at some point in the future is the lighting. I love these Aquanite LEDs for the price. However, I would like to upgrade to something um, like Kessel or Aqua Illumination at some point in the future. In terms of coral, I don't think I'm gonna be adding anything else. I'd really like to dial in the dosing and make sure that everything is getting the proper nutrients and the proper minerals. Now, moving over from my reef tank to the left, we've got my newly set up 10 gallon freshwater guppy tank. Now, the freshwater tank that I had most recently was the 3.7 gallon Imagitarium. However, I couldn't find uh, livestock that was suitable to fit into that tank. Although that tank was interesting with just the plants, I did want to see some movement with fish, so I had to upgrade to a larger tank that could accommodate that. The 10 gallon has been set up now for a couple weeks. I've got a few guppies in there just helping cycle the tank, and eventually I would like to turn this into like a breeding guppy tank. I want to grow out a ton of java moss and a ton of java fern, and just make it a nice little sanctuary for all those fish. For this tank, I've just got a simple Aquion hang on the back filter. I've got a little 15 watt heater because it stays incredibly warm inside my apartment at all times. And then on the top, we've got this Nick Crew uh, multicolor LED. So far, it's doing a good job. Um, it's really easy to adjust and it's a really sleek looking light for the price. I think it's great. If you guys might be able to tell, this little bunch of wood and plants right here was in the 3.7 gallon Imagitarium. So I simply just put that into the tank and the grass that was on the back left side, um, I just spread around. So I put it in a clump there and a clump on the back side as well. Everything's pretty green and lush. It's starting to fill out. I did give the java moss a huge trim and there was a chunk or a big ball of java moss that I actually put into a moss cube um, outside of my balcony. One thing that I've noticed with these grasses is we are starting to see some new growth with these little sprouts. Um, I didn't realize that this plant was a runner, but it looks like we do have a root system that's kind of following this trail and we are getting some new sprouts there. And then on the back side, we've got a clump way back there and under that filter sponge, we're also starting to see 
these uh, grasses run as well. I am incredibly happy to have these tanks side by side. I think it's a really cool view to have the reef tank with all the blue and purple lighting next to the very green and white um, freshwater to plant a tank. So I think they look really good. They contrast well together. I went with the rimless 10 gallon uh, with the brace on the bottom to help try and match as best with the innovative marine. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm very excited to have these tanks set up. We're gonna get a guppy breeding um, process going in the freshwater tanks. So if you guys wanna see more of that, please comment down below. And with the reef tank, we're just trying to sustain it. And um, like I said, get the dosing dialed in. And I really just want all the corals to grow out where they are and start to fill it in. I'll be posting a lot more videos and updates, especially on the freshwater tank as we start to get more fish and possibly more babies. I'm also posting a ton on TikTok. That's where I do most of my content, but I am trying to post more on YouTube now. Now that we're kind of settled into the new apartment, we've got school kind of going on and we've got the fish tank set up. So I think I'll be able to post a little bit more here. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see any kind of content, let me know in the comments down below. I showed you guys my balcony view, but I actually have a little project going on down there. That's the most I'm going to show you guys. But yeah, JDH Aquatics will soon be expanding into to further territories trying to reach more audience with different kind of animals so if you guys are interested in that please comment down below and let me know what you guys think the next animal for the channel is